Did you know that a bad breath is just as bad as a bad complaint when it comes out of someone's mouth? Then we only realize it. I want to tell you a quick story. There was this youngster. He went to his rabbi priest and he said to his rabbi, Rabbi, I've got a problem. I want to come clean it myself. I've been complaining and I don't feel too good about this. What can I do? Rabbi looked at him and said, Young man, get yourself a feathered pillow, take it up to the mountain and think about those complaints and throw those feathers all over the place and then you come and see me. The youngster went off, got himself a feathered pillow, went up to the mountain, thought about his complaints and he tore open the pillow and he threw all those feathers in the wind. But it didn't make any difference. So annoyed he was and he went back to the rabbi and he said to the rabbi, Rabbi, this is not working. What am I doing wrong? The rabbi said, young man, go and pick up all those feathers now. He said, no, 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 I can't do that. <laughs> he said, well, you see, this is it. All those complaints that you've been giving out to people, you can't take them back. And that is why you feel that bad. It's that guilt. You've got to be positive. You've got to think positive and live positive. So, get on with your life and go. You see, my point tonight is that complaining breaks down three major areas in our lives. It's our health, it's our career, and it's our relationship with our loved ones. I'll start with our health. You see, we can't live with resentments the rest of our lives. We've got to move on. And we mustn't speak to the wrong people about our problems. Because that's typically complaining. So you've got to see the right people. And we can't tell people our perception of the world if the world is not good to us. And then we get to our careers. Our careers are very important. When you come to work in the morning, you don't want people to say, Oh my gosh, look who's arrived. I'm out of here. You want to be that positive person when people see you as a pleasant person. You're great. You smile. People can pick it up in your emails and in the meetings when you have meetings that you're aggressive and you're full of complaints and you moan. People know. They're not stupid. And then, of course, again, it comes to our families, our loved ones. We live at home together under one roof, and we've got to compromise. When you get home, some people say, ah, someone left the light on again. Someone didn't put the cup in the sink. <laughs> someone never locked the door again. And that's how it goes at home. You've got to relax, chill, this is your home. Compromise. Speak to everybody. There's a way of talking and there's a way of complaining and moaning. You've got to get to a happy medium. You don't have to suck up all the stuff and say, yeah, 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 everything's fine. This is where my point comes in now. Is on the table you will find a packet. Would you can please pass it along? And... Yes. And inside that packet, there's a 21-day challenge for you. And there's elastic inside there. And that elastic, every time you complain, you slide it over to the other wrist, which will count as one. <laughs> the normal person complains between 10 to 30 times a day. So I urge you, take on that challenge. <coughs> it's a 21-day challenge. It will make you a better person. And if you can get it right, to keep that elastic on your wrist for 21 days, you have gained a good habit and lost a bad one. But if that doesn't work for you, get yourself a feathered pillow. Thank you, Mr. Madam. Thank you, Mr. <laughs>